Hello, we're going to fit out a Dagger G-Force 5.9 to C1 kayak. We're lucky this boat has never been a kayak, so we've got rid of all the thigh brace supports, all the insides gone, there's no bolt holes in it, so we're going to start from scratch. So here we have new C1 saddle. I'm just going to install this like so, so we can get it marked out. So we slide that into the pin's position. Put it back, we literally just wedge that under there. That might not be its finished position, but we're just going to mark that out and check. So I want to have this saddle, the backrest will be approximately six and a half, seven inches from the inside edge of the cockpit rim. Just measure that out. Seven inches is there. In the cell here we've got pre-drilled marks so we can drill straight through into the into the foam and then we can bolt it in place. You don't actually need that because this boat is locked in place now, it's not going anywhere. It's lift up. Put into the boat. Again it's pre-drilled. So we're gonna drill straight through the foam into the place. And come out the other side and we'll bolt that in place here and that'll clamp it up nice and tight. Additionally, we're going to put in some metal rods, metal braces, into what would have been the thigh brace, uh, so the seat bolt positions here and here, straight through the boat. So what we're going to do is, where the holes are, we're just going to use a, dr a drill bit and you can slide that through into the foam just to kind of mark out where, where it's going to go. Same on the other side. Mark that out. Also do the same in the front. Just see it coming out there, so we're going to mark that out. I'm going to cut that. See on this side. And that's what we're going to fit through the boat to lock into place. Inside your kit, you get a piece of aluminium tube, and we're going to. You can see the marks here. Just literally going to push that central through there, it's quite on the other side, and uh, then we can push our wood through there. It's always a bit tricky. So just push that through, completely fill out. That's our first, or that's our rear saddle mount position. Do the same again at the front. Push that through, <clears throat> and that's our front saddle mount point. You can dispose of that. Okay, next step, we've got two saddle mounts. Small one at the back. Just push that into place. Big one at the front. Push that into place. So we get our mounts. Through. There we go, and then it comes out the back. Push it on. Time. Through that, we'll tighten that up after. In reality, if you wanted to go bows in now, I don't see any reason why you can't. It's that saddle isn't lifted up, it moves a little bit left and right. But I mean, I've paddled like this for years and had no issue at all. In it, we get some two metal. Two metal straps, pre-bent and drilled, just for a bit of convenience. That's marked out to bend around the hole. So that's the first bend is here. Total area we need is we're going 
gonna go to eight inches. So I'll just go to nine inches. I'm gonna trim that so that a hacksaw or a pair of tin snips. Tin snips are good, it's aluminium. Bend that around, shape the hole, and make sure we get that in. Cut the pair of snips. Yeah, one and a quarter. One and a quarter, so that's front. That's front. You can't get it wrong. That's the left side. That's the right, you don't want to get them mixed up. Gonna go straight to the side. Oh. This comes with lots of five mil holes, stainless bolts. We are going to fix that to the side. We've got two in now. <laughs> Don't really need a washer of these because of the Oops. So you gotta remember you can fix Anywhere you want down here, it's entitled to you, it's wherever you feel comfortable. If you can line it up with old sea bolts, go for it. I'm not too worried about it, I'm never going to make it back into it. Right, so as you can see, it's all bolted in. It's all straps are bolted in. I think that's all it needs. If you want to put more in, you can put them in any way you want down here. Put another one in at the back, it doesn't matter. It's held in from the front centre pillar. It's holding from the rear centre pillar. So that's your backwards and forwards movement. You've got this movement here, it's locking in. That's going to stop it from rocking side to side. It cannot lift up, it cannot lift up. See it? Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a bit tight here, we'll have to do a bit of bending. Okay, so slide that into... Okay, so what we need to do is we'll get the back... Let's see... Right, I'll sort that off. Right, back through. There we go. The scary bit is we're gonna. Let's 
screw drill through the bolt. I'm going to do two actions in one here. We're going to fasten our webbing loops through our straps. That goes in there. Open that. So install the knee straps. Easy to adjust. It's basically you basically go in here around and lock in. It's up to you where we fit this, just anywhere around this point you can swing it back if you want. The easiest thing is just to get in and have a feel. I'm just going to go straight across. As low as, as, probably not too low in this part because it's really small for me. Uh, so I'm just going to take it level with the, the uh, saddle and fit it straight in there. Let's give it a sharpie. And like that out. And same again this side. Level. Again, scary through the same boat. Same on the other side. fit to that because it's going to loop over your leg. Can you see the old? I can't see it. So let's do, let's do knee, bot, knee straps through the bridge. And for me, I just loop it back on itself, locks it all in, can't slip or slide or move. These will work like a bulkhead, except you can adjust it really easily. Just do what you normally do when you want to get out. With your kit, you'll get two seats. So you can have it low or high, or you can line them up, whatever. It comes square edge, but I suggest get yourself a, a surf form, something like that. And push it dead easy, just shape it. You can make it a bit more round to suit your legs, you just literally wind it up, get it nice and shaped for yourself. And that's going to go, there's your mark, there's your seven inch gap, you can check that, still at seven, you can see it's going to fit all nice and neat in there. So your next job is backrest. Right, so I've got a big block of foam, obviously that needs to go into there and back to my seven inch mark. Easy thing to do is we'll mark our seven inches here. Seven. Let's 
bits of the metal. Using a sharp knife, these are just card knives, kitchen knives, no matter what you're using. Just gonna literally cut that straight down. Measure the height of that. So we've got oh, just under four inches. So we need to make four inches. And that is Crazy cut. So we need to cut out four inches. Where's my mark from? There. We basically need to cut out all of this section here we've got to get rid of all of that. Let's just mark that out. We don't want that. We don't want that. Make sure you get the right bits we need to cut out. So we're just gonna literally cut that out. So we hit that four. Now we're going to cut out straight down this line. No, I don't get some help to tell that from there. Put some weight on it. Job here, we're gonna cut. We need to cut this section out here so it runs up, so it runs. I don't know, that's so we just we basically just need to cut out that section there. There's quite a lot of waste with all this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I need to cut that section out there, so I'm just gonna just swap knives because it's pointy and get right into the corner. So we're almost there, so just gonna force that in. But now we're still this far apart. So we now need to cut out that gap, which is two and a quarter, two and a half inches into the bottom section. You filming that? So just fill that line on. Two and a quarter, two and a half there. Uh. I'm used to be four inches up, so it's basically. That section there cutting out, and that section there. So we need to dig down into there. So we're going to cut two inch. That's our shape. In theory, that should just block straight in. So we're going to cut that angle. Some paper. We're gonna put some glue on here, put some glue on some glue in this section here and here. We're gonna put a bit of glue on the sides, a bit of glue on this side, some glue on the inside of this, some glue on the bottom. A good a minute to go off, and we're just gonna literally get it in as fast as we can because this stuff sticks like shit. Where's you then? That's it, done. I'll put some on this. So we're going to put a bit of glue on here. On that. I'm going on the insides of this. This is just ordinary carpet glue. This is just ordinary contacts I do said. Because we're sticking to fiberglass, it sticks like bugger. Let's gonna do it now. Right, ready? Stuck already. Jesus Christ. No, don't glue yet. Yeah. 
Bring it out. I lost it. It's not though, because it's not in. I know it isn't. No, it is. <sighs> Enough. Job is we stick our, our seat pad on. Okay, Get the stuff lined up. Next job is knee pads. These are really easy. Basically, just force them. You can glue them if you want. I've never, I've never glued mine yet. Once they're in, they're going nowhere. That is nearly that. Right. Next shows your thigh straps. I suggest maybe just practice with the knee straps at first because it's pretty scary using all this stuff. You definitely roll with just some knee straps in there. The great thing about fitting out these straps like this with a loop is it means they're interchangeable. It takes one minute to swap your straps from one boat to the next. <laughs> 